storm that is now being called an unsurvivable storm surge along the Texas coast. Ashley, it is a monster, isn't it? It truly is, Jack, and that was verbiage that came from the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service as they are putting out their alert plans for emergency managers. That's a way they say, hey, this is urgent. We need to get folks off the coast evacuation plans in place for coastal Louisiana. This storm just looks mean. Lots of lightning winds right now 145 miles per hour. That makes this storm a category four storm with winds catastrophic speeds. Now we're expecting not only catastrophic wind, but that's also going to create quite the inundation of water inland upwards of 20 and 30 miles and we could see 10 to 20 feet high. That's how high the surge could be. 20 feet is over some of these single story homes along the coast. As we look at our forecast track, Laura is expected to track inland at a category four. It will quickly dissipate, but it will carry a lot of rain with it. It's likely going to make landfall late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Then it curves east late Friday and into Saturday. We will stay on the eastern side of this storm. We could have a few outer bands of rain reaching us. Can't rule out a squall line of thunderstorms later on this week. But for right now, the swirl of Laura is sitting just off the Louisiana coast, about 140 miles from the center of this storm to landfall. This storm's tracking anywhere between about 12 to 15 miles per hour. It will make landfall as a major hurricane winds in excess of 140 miles per hour. Very damaging, but very minimal impacts to Alabama. Let me show you on your future cast what we're looking at. There's Laura as it moves inland, but but what we'll be tracking Thursday into Friday, watch what happens early Friday morning. Just when you think, OK, this is the end of it. It starts to move back to the east. It's going to grab some of this wet air out of the Gulf, and that will actually reinvigorate the atmosphere just enough to produce some afternoon thunderstorms for us. So we could see a few of those bands of rain in our neck of the woods late Friday afternoon, and this will continue through early Saturday morning potentially. So it's something we'll be tracking tracking very closely later this week. As for tonight, the sky remains clear for us. Temperatures by tomorrow morning and your Thursday are going to be in the 70s. Maybe an occasional rain shower tomorrow with high temperatures reaching at around 90. Another fairly dry but hot and humid day tomorrow. Numerous storms Friday and an unsettled weather pattern will continue through the weekend. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.